Hey, what's going on guys? This is CJ. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are playing some more Far Cry 5 and I just finished watching something actually pretty neat. This is this is something that's, uh, you know, not often does developers actually dedicate a team to this, all right? So if you guys haven't watched it, we have a Far Cry 6 video uh, trailer that states that Ubisoft has a dedicated team to the PC. That's really cool. You know, it's not often at all do they specify, hey, we are working, like we have a dedicated team for the PC because we want the PC port or the PC part of it to be that much better or to be a success, right? I don't think they put really that much time on the PC side since Far Cry 2 personally. I honestly don't know. I'm not a developer. I don't work there or anything like that. But as a PC player, they have left out a lot of PC, you know, items, tasks, skills, whatever you want to call them, um, or options, I should say. Uh, PC options that should definitely be in a PC game, and they've just been kind of getting rid of them. So this is actually really cool to me because as a PC player, even if you're not a PC player, it's still nice to have this like dedication that they have towards one particular console or device, right? Like this, this is actually pretty neat. And I'm actually thrilled about it. So, uh, to kind of get down what they've spoken about, this whole idea behind it is, I, I can hit this guy with a, with a bat and kills him, but I can't shoot him. Hopefully, I killed him. <laughs> um, so what they stated is, next, next gen visuals, which I mean. I mean, in, in, enhanced, they said. Enhanced visuals. Sorry, Jess. Um, which is kind of like, uh, of course, because it's a next generation game. And that is just, it's kind of a given in a way, if that makes sense. Um, we, we know that the visuals will be better, right? And then they have a enhanced texture pack. So if you have that, that much more of a computer... And good hardware you can download the hd texture pack or increased hd texture pack whatever they're calling it i think they just call it enhanced uh so you can download that uh which i feel like is kind of like a normal thing nowadays too um like i said probably going to repeat myself but uh this the whole idea of the video or the trailer is stating the fact that they have a dedicated team it doesn't necessarily mean like hey there's actually a bunch of stuff coming out for it in the video um it's just stating that hey we have a team dedicated to PC at the moment which is cool so we'll I'll get to the wants in a little bit but um, either way it's still nice to hear it and then they have ray tracing they have fidelity effects and then the enhanced visuals which like I said it's just next gen so of course uh, they would have they would have such a thing in the game um, which I like I said it's just to get the point across that they have a dedicated team so don't kind of quote them on too much stuff I think they're just working on it I think it's a little early on as a PC team and I think they've just been working on it so they let us know and now they're just working on it um, also they announced the fact that hey we have customizable uh, keys and stuff like that on controller and and keyboard and mouse which is actually kind of neat on the the controller side of it. This is just a normal PC thing to me. So any PC game that doesn't have remapping, it would be really weird PC game. Um, and then they announced that the quality, uh, by the way, I play at 1440p, 165 hertz. You guys wanted to know that ever. Um, is they have kept the, or they said that they have a graphical preview uh, that shows you what changes when you're changing your settings, which, like I said, it's this is kind of how the industry is going anyways, and especially Ubisoft games, I absolutely love this. Like, it's, it's just one of those things that it will become a norm, I think, but they did announce it. Like I said, they don't need to announce it, but to make the video longer and a real trailer, I think they just want to let everyone know what's coming with this PC dedicated team. Um... Uh, so they have all this stuff still, and I, I personally really like it uh, that they're still adding that and, and still continue with this preset because that's it's just so nice to actually see what's changing instead of going in and figuring it out. And then also they said they want to make Far Cry 6 more immersive and 
as I said before, that we didn't really have a good team, I think. Uh, not that Ubisoft sucks, guys, by all means, but we didn't have a dedicated team in Far Cry since, like, pr probably Far Cry 2, in my opinion, because we just... Everything PC that should have, <laughs> that PC should have, we didn't get after Far Cry 2. Far Cry 3 came out, and it was just, like, it wasn't too bad, but it still had some things missing missing and then uh far cry 4 and 5 it just was like kind of out of the water they did enhance um perfect uh they did add some things and optimization on far cry 5 in the video they said that they want to utilize as much of um computers or high-end computers they want to want to work towards Basically optimization in a way, but without really saying it for whatever reason, but they said they they're working towards getting the most out of your high-end computer, which is To me is cool. You know, that's that's awesome I I think Far Cry 4 was absolutely crap with optimization and it ran like garbage And then Far Cry 5 came out and I was super skeptical about it, but I always had the best hardware so I was like, well, I'm just play it and When Far Cry 5 came out, it was an absolute amazing game compared to Far Cry 4 optimization. So I think they're working on utilization, optimization, whatever you want to say it, and then visuals. Um, and when they, when IGN reviewed Far Cry 2, uh, they stated that, hey, Far Cry 2 looks absolutely beautiful, but to get the most out of it, play it on PC. I think that's their goal right now is to like, hey, let's get Far Cry 6 to be like, let's go play on the PC. Why? I don't know, but I feel like that's probably their, hopefully their goal, because it would be mine, personally. Even if you don't play PC, you can, you can totally respect the fact that, hey, the game looks awesome on the PC. At 1440p, or 4K, whatever it might be, maxed out with HD visuals and HD texture in, installed, like that, you can't beat it, you know? Like, it looks absolutely amazing. Drive up here now, can't find any animals. And I'm I'm thrilled. Like this this is gonna be cool. I don't know if they they didn't announce anything with SLI, so uh, SLI for new cars aren't a thing. But let's let's say older hardware, uh, they they might be a thing. You know, so maybe they might utilize SLI for older older cards that that actually support it, which would be cool because I feel like hey, not everyone can get their hands on 30 series cards anyways. Uh, you might lose out on the ray tracing thing, but hey, uh, the game runs well. And then when you upgrade, you can upgrade, and that's at least you're able to still keep all that stuff. And you don't have to, you know, fork out 2K for, the, you know, a stupid card that you can get a lot better card at. That's it. Beyond the point, anyways. But you get the idea. Still exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but my wants, personally is uh, I want them to add in the model field of view. If you guys don't know what the model field of view is, is that my gun sticks out further than what normally the gun would stick out, right? So the reason why I get that on Far Cry 5 is because it's just a mod. I just download resistance mod and then I I'm able to, to get this field of view on my, my model. However, it was a very... It was a is a basic feature in in PC games, uh, even in some PC games, still do it. But Far Cry 2 or Far Cry 3 onward, they stopped doing that. So it used to be called widescreen, and then you would get that field of view model, and then uh, it would it would make me less motion sick basically. But in after in Far Cry 3, you had widescreen, but it wouldn't change your view model, which would um, you know, kind of sucked, you know, so I feel like it's kind of neat to see more of your gun And I feel like even you console players that don't even play on the PC at all still ask me how you can achieve this um, Because it looks nice. It just looks nice. I can't you know I can't really explain it in any any other way besides yeah, this it just looks cool and I, I mean I would do the same stuff if I was making a PC game so I'm hoping they re-add it uh, as a stock feature, and maybe a, you can adjust it in some way easily instead of, you know, hacking the game, basically. Uh, this is good. 
talking a lot. But this is this is exciting, and I'm I'm still thrilled because it's just something that we don't hear often on the PC side of things to get a dedicated team. Um, I would advise you guys to go over there and watch the video, even if you're not a PC player. You can see different a, a different atmosphere and a different location on Far Cry 6 uh, in that video, in that trailer. And then you get to see the Fowl, the Groza, the MS-16, whatever it might be called, M14, whatever it is. Uh, they'll change the name constantly. But you can see different different, different uh, locations that you haven't seen probably already. So I would tell you to go and look at it and watch the video just in case because it is, it is something neat and cool. And then you get to learn more things about it. So if you watch it and if I didn't really state anything or didn't state something that you think is important, go ahead and comment down below so that other people can read about it and and see like, hey, this is coming with the new features and it's gonna be it's gonna be great, you know. I mean, even right now I'm not fully maxed out, but I'm Keep I'm at sixty frames right. right now, you know, like it's not it's not the best where I'm at. For whatever reason. It's dying horribly lagging horribly anyways i better end the video here guys i hope you enjoyed the video though i just wanted to state some new facts with far cry 6 but if you did hit that like button down below subscribe for more content far cry 6 is just around the corner guys i'm so excited but i hope to see you in the next video